autumn malt biscuit. Yes. In the middle there is tanwash cheese custard yes. and the top is the gel which is Tabasco, so a little bit spicy. Whatever this time is our bread selection, which as you see we have a few different kinds. The dark one on the side is our ripe sourdough, so together with baguette, potato and panel seeds bread with some salted Irish butter. So we have a beautiful wine from Austria, citric notes, fresh. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give you a beautiful starting point, balance with the food, and it's gonna be a beautiful experience. According to you, go to the next level that you're gonna have a bit more citric aromas, a bit more structure in the wine, or it gets on the red. That's a small taste for you, sir. Beautiful weather, change on the soil and the terroir, warm days and cold nights. So here we have the onion moon melon uh, with the copper, uh, cobbling copper, some crispy bread, chili puree, and to finish off, we have some frozen tomato rocks. So, madam, for you we have the potato top with the baked potato mousse, a comfy lemon, a pollen uh, on the side, a little bit of sweetness with the honeycomb and honey to finish some uh, mint buttermilk sauce. <laughs> and I'm going to finish with a bit of Australian truffle. Muscadet is a great variety that is gonna give you all the flavor, all the citric essence that we want to have and bring you the perfect balance with the acidity. And the, at the same time, the muscadet is gonna give you a bit of extra lime zest, a bit of more stone fruits, and it's gonna give you much more minerality before we go to the next part that is gonna be a natural way to roll the wine. In this way, we are gonna calibrate your palate, give you the freshness that we want, and provide the best experience with Marcus for today. Uh, the next course, we have the scallop from Orkney Island with some cornbread on the side, seaweed parsley, lemon gel, and to finish, black pepper corn and the lobster sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
So a French wine from Alsace region, Domaine de Hearst, it's a French uh, estate. And uh, they work with a Japanese winemaker. It's for that you can find a Japan label. So Pinot Gris, it's uh, the grapes. It's elaborated by maceration. It's a uh, rosé vinification. And uh, we find the strawberries, raspberries, red fruit, flowers note and freshness. Please enjoy. So we have a, a double smoked and braised pork belly with some roasted peach and peach puree, a buttermilk and grape mass, and to finish a little puff pork. Here you have a beautiful Spanish wine to make a perfect match with your main course. This is a Priorat, it's coming from Catalonia and it's a 100% Tempranillo grape. You see an English name on the top as a label because you're following the legacy of an English winery that used to be from 1962. About the information of the wine, we have a full body, full of plums, full of licorice notes. It's gonna give you an amazing structure and it's gonna give you an and never ending finish that is gonna calibrate your palate and give you the perfect match with your lamp. I put some wine for you straight away. Galloway beef uh, with some uh, roasted cauliflower, uh, cauliflower coated with the exo crumb, and uh, runner beans to finish off. We have the beef sauce. Okay. You're welcome. And for you, sir, we have the herdic lamb from Red District with the homemade ricotta, harissa oil, pico roses, uh, roasted cottage, and to finish is the lamb juice. Please enjoy. What you have is a roasted semi fredo served together with sable biscuit sandwich and on the top pig leaf powder with apple gel. And to conclude the dish, we also have dices of Granny Smith apple and on the side apple juice with a little bit of pig powder. <laughs> And here we go. Hope you enjoy.
Here we have our last approach with our amazing dessert. It's a sweet wine, dessert wine, nothing similar that you have seen before. Because it's gonna give you a bit of freshness. It's full of honey, it's full of some jammy notes. It's like you're gonna have a strawberry jam. At the same time, the clams is gonna give you all the flavor that you may want. So it gives you the full balance and points out exactly what you want about the dessert. Something to mention about this is that it's a very, very, very beautiful vintage. It can be aged and it can give you an amazing aftertaste to clear your palate. Thank you so much, enjoy. So what we got, we got the elderflower and vanilla mousse with the raspberry meringue, ginger and fresh raspberries. And then we finish with the lovely elderflower and raspberry frozen with liquid nitrogen okay there you go beautiful And we have the orange pami with the coffee caramel soup and coffee cream.